Okay, so today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to draw up solutions into syringes. Um, just to be clear at the start, uh, drawing up solutions is a particular issue depending on the staff that you're working with, uh, so make sure to discuss it with your staff before you go ahead and start drawing up medications. Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, we've got a workspace here on top of the anesthetic cart. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating three kind of techniques today. One is going to be drawing something straight up into a syringe, uh, and then we're going to use that um, to dissolve a powdered antibiotic, and then the third technique will be diluting um, a medication, in this case ephedrine, uh, 1 in 10 into normal saline. So let's get started by uh, getting together all our materials. We've got our solutions and antibiotics there. Um, now we'll get some syringes, so a couple of 10 milliliter syringes and we'll get needles. I'm going to be using the blunt-ended needle uh, for the demonstration today, but note that there is also a, uh, a safety needle, which we can pull out and play with towards the end of the video. So, uh, we want to make sure that we are careful to maintain sterile technique. So, attach the needle to the syringe and in this case this is these are single use vials which almost everything is um, and so in order to easily get this 10 milliliters out of this vial into the syringe we're going to inject 10 milliliters of air to replace the 10 milliliters of fluid that we're going to be drawing out um, so take the cap off we'll draw back 10 milliliters of air into our syringe Pop the cap off, insert the needle, and slowly inject the air into the vial. And then we'll let the fluid drain out. And at this point, you want to be careful that the needle itself is beneath the meniscus of the fluid so that fluid keeps getting pulled back into the syringe. If it's above the meniscus you're going to be pulling back air and you're not going to be getting the volume that you desire. So eventually you're going to pull the needle back to the bottom of the vial. should be right at about 10 milliliters. So, if, if you were finished with this, you'd cap the needle, label it, and then store it until you're using it. But in this case, we're going to use this normal saline to demonstrate um, dissolving the one gram of cefazolin here. So we can pop the cap off of the vial, pop the cap off the needle, and we'll use the needle Again, injecting it into the vial and you can kind of use whatever technique you want to dissolve all the powder but make sure it gets nice and mixed around and you can see for yourself if it's dissolving or not. You kind of aim your squirts at any bits of undissolved powder. Draw back. Be careful of where your needle tip is. needle. And there we have one gram of cefazolin dissolved in 10 milliliters of normal saline. Okay, so that's two techniques we've demonstrated there. Okay, so the third technique we're going to uh, demonstrate here today is diluting 50 milligrams per milliliter of ephedrine 1 in 10. So, we're going to get one of the pre 
preloaded syringes. This is preloaded with 10 milliliters of normal saline. Um, and so to make a 1 in 10 dilution, we need to first get rid of 1 milliliter of normal saline. So I'm just getting everything ready here. So we'll just get rid of the first milliliter of normal saline into the garbage. Attach our needle. That's ready. And then we'll crack open the ampule of ephedrine. Just get moving the air to the top and crack it open. And note, now that this is cracked open, it's open to atmospheric pressure. So, when we go to draw our fluid off, we don't need to actually draw air back into the syringe. We can just insert the syringe and pull back until our volume gets to 10 milliliters. safety needle slides shut like that and we just push push all the air that we sucked in out and now we've got a nice complete safe uh, syringe of ephedrine here and the ephedrine has been diluted 1 in 10 so it was 50 milligrams per milliliter we can label it using our one of our labels here ephedrine is the purple label one of the two purple labels um, and there's there's different ways to label the syringe, but one of the one of the ways is to actually put the label just the bottom of the volume mark. Uh, so when you're when you're pushing the medication, you can see what the volume's at and stop at the desired volume. Um, and then we write our concentration on the label itself. So if it was 50 milligrams per milliliter, now we're uh, and we've diluted it at one in ten. Now we're at five milligrams per milliliter. Um, so now we've got some five milligrams per milliliter ephedrine here. Uh, and just one final point, when we're, when we're finished all this, we dispose of the sharps in our sharps container here. Those are the techniques for drawing up solutions that we're demonstrating today, and thank you for watching.